is just like the dirt had to be removed from the olive. The blood of Jesus was shed to remove my sin. And tell me what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Tell somebody I've been cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Come on, help me praise him. I need somebody to help me right now. Thank God for the blood. And just like the old olives that were no good, the old olives, oh God, y'all know where I'm going with that. Just like that old olive had to be left behind, my old man, the old Steve, about 23 years ago, was left behind because if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. I'm leaving that old mess behind me and I'm reaching to the things that are before me. Why? Because I got to have the oil. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I thank God for Gethsemane. Gethsemane, Gethsemane. Gethsemane represents a place of crushing. I thank God for Gethsemane. It represents a place where the anointing flows. I thank God for Gethsemane. Because if Jesus had not been crushed, then he wouldn't have been able to release the oil. Somebody touch somebody and say, no crushing, no oil. And then Jesus told his disciples, he told his disciples in Luke 24, 49, he said, and behold, I send the promise of my father upon you. But then he says, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. And then he went a little bit further in Acts chapter 1 verse 8. He said, but ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And let me ask you a question. What was released on the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2? If you don't have the answer, let me help you. It was the oil. <laughs> the crushing of the cross released the oil of Pentecost. Let me say that again. The crushing of the cross released the oil of Pentecost. It was the crushing that released the oil. The oil of Pentecost came from the crushing of the cross that came out of the Garden of Gethsemane, that came from the Mount of Olives, that came from Mary's womb, that came from heaven, that came from God. Slap somebody high five, say, I thank God for the oil. Isaiah 53 10 says, Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. There was no other way for Jesus to die. He had to come the way of the cross, the way of suffering. The crushing was necessary. He had to be crushed because if there was no crushing, there would be no oil. I don't know about you, church, but I thank God for the oil because I need the oil. I've got to have the oil. I can't live without the oil. I need fresh oil every day. It's the oil of the Lord that gives me strength. It's the oil of the Lord that gives me power. The oil of the Lord leads me. The oil of the Lord
Lord guides me. The oil of the Lord protects me. The oil of the Lord makes me walk right. It makes me talk right. It makes me live right. It gives me power over my flesh. I need it when I teach and I need it when I preach. I need it to be a witness. It destroys every yoke. It gives me joy when I'm sad. Somebody lift your hands and say, I thank God for the oil. Give him a praise. Come on, church. <laughs> but if there were no crushing, then there would be no oil. And anybody can praise him for the oil. Anybody can shout and dance when you got the oil. But who's going to praise God when it's crushing time? Come on, come on. Come on, I don't hear you now. Who gonna praise God when you have to be crushed? Who's gonna praise God when you have to cry? Who's gonna praise God when you have to suffer? Come on, church! Uh, uh, look at somebody say, I thank God for the crushing. Because if it wasn't for the crushing, I wouldn't have the oil. Uh, I thank God for Gethsemane because Gethsemane was the crushing place. Jesus was crushed 2,000 years ago. He wasn't crushed too late and he wasn't crushed too soon. And like good tasting oil, he was crushed at the right time. Ah, lean on your neighbor and say, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Come on, praise him. And I don't know who I'm talking to, but the Spirit of God gave me this message to deliver just for you. Come on, somebody. Now you know why you had to be crushed. Look at your neighbor and say, now you know why you had to be crushed. It was because of the oil. You were one among millions of olives. Out of all the millions of olives that Jesus was thinking about while he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he chose you. Look at somebody, put your hand on them and say, God chose you. He broke you away. He handpicked you out. He cleans you and set you apart. But the anointing was trapped on the inside and it had to come out. And the only way it can come out, you had to be crushed. The crushing was necessary because the crushing released the oil. That's why you had to go through. That's why you had to suffer. That's why you had to be bruised. That's why you had to be lied on. That's why you had to be cheated. That's why you had to be talked about. That's why you had to get hurt. That's why you had to walk alone because it was the crushing that released the oil. Say, neighbor, I thank God for the crushing. Say, don't run from the crushing. Don't ask God to let it pass. Just lift your hands and say, Lord, not my will. Even if I have to cry, not my will. If I have to be in pain, not my will. If they talk about me, not my will, but thy will be done. Stand on your feet, lift your hands, and give God a praise for the crushing.